everyone, welcome back. It is my monthly favorites for the month of September. I've been sick the last week or so, and it's just like one of those things that I feel like I can't get better, but if you follow me on Snapchat, you're probably like, we're really tired of hearing about how sick you are. So moving on, since you guys are probably tired of hearing me complain and talk about it, let's talk about some of my favorites for the month of September, which Who's excited that it's now October? And I really feel like the beginning of October is where you can really bust out those deeper, darker lips. I'm wearing the Ultra Satin Lip from ColourPop in the color Barracuda. I saw my friend Shay from That Girl Shay XO wear this and I was like, what color are you wearing on your lips? Because it looked so pretty and she wasn't wearing very much on her eyes and I was like, perfect. I'm going to wear a bold lip and not very much on my eyes because I don't feel like doing my makeup. So it was the perfect time to bust it out and wear it so I don't have anything on my eyes except for some mascara because, uh, yeah, I just couldn't want to today, so there's that. But I have been wearing makeup this whole month, and I do have a lot of favorites. So I'm just going to bust out with some immediate skincare favorites, and I actually do have this month... Uh, a show favorite but if I tell you the show please do not give me any spoiler alerts because there's a spoiler alert and I'm gonna tell you guys my theories and then don't tell me the truth if you've watched the show okay we'll talk about the end so I want to talk about it cosmetics because they just recently launched products within Sephora now up until now they've been sold on QVC they've been sold um, at Ulta and they've been sold on the It Cosmetics website, but never at Sephora. And a lot of you guys who, uh, I don't know if I've said this before, but I feel like Sephora has just a better policy, shipping policy, policies. Um, they just ship quicker. It, they have a better reward system that I personally like better than Ulta's. I'm not saying I don't like Ulta. It's just, I find that some of the employees even are more experienced when you're going in for help at Sephora. So, it benefits me more to shop at Sephora than it does Ulta, and I feel bad saying that because it's nothing against Ulta. The one thing that I like Ulta that they do do, 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 is that they, that's like when one of my kids would be like, ha, oh, you said do, do. But the one thing that I like about Ulta is that they have the option to use PayPal. I'm like, Sephora, come through for us. I'm just kidding. I didn't say that. But... I don't like it when people are like, come through with me. But when it comes to Sephora, I'm like, why do you not have the option for me to use my PayPal account so that nobody knows if I bought it or not? You know, I got to use the credit card and then it's like, I got to answer to somebody else when I'm using the credit card. But if it's PayPal, nobody knows about what's in the PayPal account. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm just kidding. Like, my, my husband knows basically what I buy, but still, it's like, it doesn't hurt as bad if it's coming from PayPal. So, okay, you guys are probably like, wow. I had somebody tell me the other day, you talk too much. And I'm like, yeah, I do. I do. Thank you so much. Okay, so, It Cosmetics came to Sephora, and they launched, these products are exclusive to Sephora. This is the Bye Bye 3-in-1 Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. I love this stuff. It's just kind of like a takeaway balm, like uh, it, it's just, you know, you take a little bit out, you don't need very much at all, just take a little bit out, rub it between your hands, it kind of melts down a little bit and rub it on your face. It has a light, fresh scent and it just dissolves all the makeup. I love using this because it leaves my skin really soft. I don't find that it has, like a lot of cleansing balms have weird smells or whatever. It doesn't take much to a product to use. I have like an itch right here. It doesn't take much product to use um, to get all of your makeup off. It takes off your eye. Waterproof eye makeup room like it removes that so that's what I really like about it I do follow it up with a cleanser let me just quickly talk about this and I'll go back to the other a cosmetics product but I follow it up with the cleanser and I use this from Tarte I've talked about this before it's like a little scrublet so once I take off all of my makeup and I get all that waterproof 
eye makeup off. I go in with this cleanser and I love this. This is from Cora's and it's Greek yogurt foaming cream cleanser. It's for all skin types. It smells really, really good and it's super hydrating, but yet I find it cleans my face. It's gentle on my face, but just to give a little bit of it like an extra one, two, how are you? I rub, I use this to like rub since I've already sort of taken off the majority of my makeup or almost all of my makeup with that I just do a cleansing round with this and then this and just boop, boop, do, 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 do. scrub it on it foams up really nicely when you use this my one thing that I said about this before was it's called foaming cream cleanser but it doesn't foam that much like it doesn't foam that much but I love it but when you use it with this it foams a little bit more than it does like on its own so really like this nice hydrates my skin and I love this I love this with all cleansers it just helps you like buff it in and it's very it's like a silicone it has like two different almost like nodule type things on one part of it and then down here it has like a little bit softer scrublet and I like it has this little ding hopper right here and you can just scrub on it, but it's gentle enough on your skin. It's not really very abrasive. It just kind of helps work the product in and just a light exfoliation, you know, to slough off any. Okay, then I go in morning and night with this product. I've talked about it in a favorites video already. I can't stop, won't stop with it. It's like aerial status. It's everything. Please try it because I think if you try it, you're going to be like, oh baby, oh baby. It's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Lines Serum. This is Advanced Anti-Aging Wrinkle Smoothing Miracle Concentrate. It's It feels like you're putting soft velvet on your face. It's just so soft and that's the thing that it does to my face. It makes my skin feel so soft and just so hydrated but not like sticky hydrated it just really absorbs all into the skin and it makes your skin feel like velvety skin smooth soft I love this it has you know a little pump on top I just pump out a few pumps morning and night put it on my face as before my moisturizer I use this in lieu of a moisturizer it's really nice and light and it works well under makeup so I put that on let it set and then go in and you can use primers or whatever else you want to be using but I love this product I highly recommend checking it out Okay, for a bronzer, I've gone back to using a bronzer that I've loved forever. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is just like an everyday go-to really great bronzer. A good one to have for anyone who's really looking for like a basic bronzer that's going to do you right. So, it smells like chocolate which is definitely a bonus. They do have it in milk chocolate, which is for lighter skin tones, but this one is for medium deep skin tones, but I like the original. This is the original. Um, but every time I talk about bronzing products and I like look in the viewfinder, I see my own bronzer and I almost like want to do like the monkey emoji like this because like it always appears like way more harsh in the viewfinder and then when I'm watching it in the video I'm like well maybe it's not that bad but uh I don't think my bronzer looks that strong but when I turn to the side in this viewfinder it's like shazam so I don't know like am I having a situation right here should I just blend that out or something um but this is the bronzer that I do have on today and I just I love it and it's matte and it's just a really nice color. Let me give a little swatch -a -roo. Not that that's really going to make a difference, but it's just a really nice everyday. I think it's a good color even if you have light skin. It's just a nice matte. You can contour with it if you'd like. You can bronze up your face. It's a really great one just to have as an everyday bronzer. Okay, I've used a bunch of highlights this this month. I really like the Jouer highlights. Um, but a highlight that I wore probably the most often is this one from Hourglass. This is the Brilliant Strobe Light. It's the highlighter I have on today. The thing that I like about this is it's not too intense. It's just a really nice, I would say, goldeny, light goldeny shade. It really is, it's right here, but it really just kind of blends with your skin. Since it's the ambient, like, it's supposed to give, like, that lit within look, and I, I really find it does. 
I love it because it's so finely milled that it just kind of goes on and really just like melds with your skin. It sits really nicely. It does, It's not too metallic, but it's not too like subtle that you can't tell that you're wearing highlight. So I really have liked this one and uh, I've gotten a lot of compliments. One of my friends told me something that I think is like such a compliment. Well, at least I did. I mean, I thought, I think she meant it as a compliment. Like hopefully she did, but um, she said, your skin always looks so luminous and like dewy or like, and then she said it looks wet. And I was like, that's where I was like, is this a compliment or is she saying I look sweaty? Cause I don't really sweat. So, I mean, I know that it's not from that. It's gotta be like, she was telling me when I was doing your makeup. So I'm thinking it's a compliment. Which brings me back to, if you guys watched my last Friday video, I was telling you about, about how I like doubt myself sometimes. Like when that guy came up to me at the makeup show, um, I'm going to go ahead and say it's really safe to say he didn't know who I was because we were all checking the comments. All of, my, all of you guys were checking the comments. I was checking the comments. I was hoping and praying he'd come on and be like, no girl, I totally knew who you were. No, he did not. He did not. And like he was with a group of girls who I think if he watched my video, maybe they might have watched my video and they didn't even say like, oh, I was with him and he did know who he were. So I think we can all assume he did not know who he was. Slash maybe my friend also was not complimenting me. Okay, moving along. A blush that I really have loved, but I got it later in the month. So I can't necessarily say this is more along the lines of like a Friday favorite, but I really like it. This is the blush palette. It's in 310 New Nude from Lancome. And it has like a, almost like a bronzy type shade and then like a rosy matte type shade and then a highlight. I mix these two together. It's the blush that I have on. I've been wearing it nonstop since I got it because it's just this really nice neutral but still rosy. Oh, it's just it's so pretty and it like is so soft. It just is a great everyday blush. So I'm going to swatch the blush and then the one that's supposed to be a bronzer. And then, like I said, I've been mixing the two of them together. So this one is the blush and this one is the bronzer in the palette. And I've just been mixing the two of them together to use as a blush because I like the rosy. It has like a little bit of rosiness to it. So I just find it's like that perfect like rosy like bronzy but without being a shimmery blush that way I can just wear highlight but it's a pretty matte and like nice it builds really nice on itself if you want a light layer of it you can get that um, so I really really have been loving these colors and the formula is really nice it's the first Lancome blush that I think that I've ever tried and then the highlighter in this palette I'm just gonna swatch that as well it's like a light almost like peachy golden shade. It's right here on my thumb. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty subtle, but I've been really loving this. Okay, for lip products this month, I haven't really tried anything super new or worn anything extremely consistently besides this one product. This is a newer product for me this month, and I really loved it. This is a very interesting color. These are the Bite Beauty um, multi sticks and I got the color gelato because I I just love this like dusty purple color it's really really pretty and I love the way that these wear it's just like that beautiful cool tone almost mauvey purple I had this look envisioned of having like dusty mauve eyes and wearing this I've worn this multiple times it's really comfortable the thing about these is they can be used for the lips or the cheeks or the eyes they can be used they turn almost into a powder product on your skin so if I just like blended this out it almost literally turns to a powder and like kind of like dries down you see so you can use that as a blush uh, my original thought was like okay if this kind of turns almost powdery how is it gonna be when I'm wearing it on my lips it doesn't dry out my lips surprisingly but you can tell that it's a different formula than what you would expect of a lipstick almost so it is a little bit I, I don't want to say compromised formula but it's a little bit different because you put it on and it's like creamy but like 
I don't, I don't want to use gritty because it's not gritty, but you expect it to be like super creamy and it's almost a little bit like this, like almost powder dry matte immediately when you put it on. But it doesn't make your lips feel dry and it doesn't look funny. So I really, really like this product um, and I like the fact that you can wear it for cheeks, eyes, lips. So you can get really a monochromatic look. They have a ton of different colors. Another color that I really like but I do not own is the color Cashew. It's like a neutral light pink and I think that that would be a really pretty color um, to do like a whole monochromatic look. I've seen a lot of people um, do monochromatic looks with these but using them on both cheeks, eyes, lips and they've been really, really pretty. So, But I love this color in Gelato just because it's that like dusty, unique almost like grayish purpley pink color. So that is it for my monthly favorites. Oh, no, I'm forgetting. I want to talk to you guys about my favorite show. Why can I not stop watching this? It's Gossip Girl. Okay, so a ton of my friends were like, Laura, have you ever seen Gossip Girl? Like, you should totally watch it when I was like asking about like what I should watch on Netflix. Finally, I started watching it and I was like, this show I can't stop with it so of course I like fell in love with Chuck Bass I ordered Chuck Bass t-shirts off of Amazon and Dana likes to make fun of me because I'm like five years late to the train but I'm like can I get a what what you know I like I'm all about Chuck Bass and she thinks it's just really funny because I'm always like five years late to the program but when I'm watching it, of course, I can't stop. Like, I literally can't stop. I want to know what happens next. And I'm, like, close to the end right now. I'm on season five towards the end of it. And I'm, like, really sad. I'm wanting to, like, stop watching it now because I just want to treasure. I don't want there to be a moment where, like, it's over. And I'm, like, where'd my friends go that I've been watching this? So here are my theories on Gossip Girl who I think it is. I think it right off the bat I thought it was a guy. Like right off the bat because I'm like, oh, how interesting would like you automatically think gossip girl, it's a girl. A girl would be doing this, but I think it's Dan because he's the writer. He's the one that I think he he would the the, the name Lonely Boy is something you only affectionately name yourself. And I just think that, and Gossip Girl called him the ultimate insider. So I think that it's him. So don't tell me if you have watched Gossip Girl who you think it is. But if you haven't watched Gossip Girl, you should probably watch it because it's a pretty good show. So that's, that's been my favorite show this month. And I really like the new show on, I think it's NBC, This Is Us. <sighs> that one gives me the tears. I get like real teary eyed when I watch that. I've heard a lot of people say it's very close to Parenthood, which I never did watch Parenthood because I think it deals with like cancer of a parent or something and I just, I can't do that. Like it just like gets me too hard. It gets too close to home and too hard so I can't watch that show. But um, a lot of people who like that type of a show, I think This Is Us is a good one for that. So if you guys are watching any of the new shows on that have come on TV recently this fall, let me know some of your favorites down below. So, And also, obviously, we're here to talk about makeup too, so let me know what some of your favorite beauty products have been for this month. Okay, I rambled on far too much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have a great, even better October than you did September, and I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already so you don't miss a video.